The following model we introduce you will probably create a lot of polemic. Lovers of sales will not agree for sure. This feature lot doesn't have sales. The meal that we have placed in the top part of the mask can generate enough power to move the yacht. This meal also has a technology that we will introduce in Model 8 that allows to fold its blades. A great advantage this model provides is that even having the wind against, it can keep sailing. Due to the fact that the mill can gather the wind force from a degree, in case of a storm, the mill will be closed automatically and the electrical batteries will keep working. On the other hand, while this yard is uncut in the sea, the mill keeps working and loading the batteries. This model follows the same mechanics that model number 2. The innovation is in its cut mask and allows every blade group to be independent. The cutting mask innovation is to gather the wind force wherever it directions. When we have a light wind, model number 2 works perfectly, but in case the mills are in style, in turbulent zones, model number 6 is adapted without the complication. Each blade can gather the wind force in an independent way without veering its direction. I don't wanna say I'm sorry Cause I know there's nothing wrong Don't be afraid, there's no need to worry Cause my feelings for you are still Model number 3, the mask is equipped with only one gear teeth that makes to turn the dynamo. In number 6, the mask has three gear teeth integrated one inside the other. This way, if a three blade stow one stops, it doesn't mean any resistance to the other two. Both technical and mechanical information is on our webpage. All models still now have vertical slats. Oliana Herais, after months of research, could have designed another range of mills with horizontal slats. The new mills family follows the same technology of wind force application. In all models, it is applied the same zone of force theory. The right part of the mills, in green arrow, doesn't offer resistance against the mill, and the left part in red arrows shows the resistance that exercises the mill against the wind and makes possible its functioning. The horizontal placement of the slats makes possible that every blade is slats done with just one engine. The computer then only has to place the slat in position of 0 or 90 degrees. The calculations the computer has to develop in the first group of mills goes from 0 to 180 degrees, making turn the slats in the whole tool for the zone B of zero resistance. In the new mills generation, the number of calculations has diminished considerably. The only calculations that the computer does is turn the slats 90 degrees every time they go in or outside the A or B zone.
In following virtual case, we do a small simulation with a 150 housing building. This building lodges a mill of 6 meters of diameter and a 3 meters high. This model can generate enough electricity to provide a whole building. At the moment of making this model of mill, there has been in mind the visual impact from the street. All urban mills have a small height to minimize its presence. It is also possible to place several small mills distributed by the roof of the building and this way avoiding the placement of just one with the previous measures. Now we introduce another model. That without any doubt, it is most adapted for its placement in the mountains. The animation appears with daylight but it is simply to show the meals. This range of meals only appears at night and during the day they remain hiding in the concrete cylinders. This way we reduce the visual impact in the mountains and the birds are safe from the meals.